Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Plant Based Storm. I'm Stormy, and today I thought I would do a what I eat in a day. So this is going to be a delicious, simple breakfast. It's seasonal. I actually grew this butternut in my garden. It's so pretty and delicious. So I'm just going to cut this up and dice it up, and I'm going to put it on a baking sheet. And I'm also fixing some for my son. So you'll see me adding in a little bit of olive oil for him. Both of these are going to get a sprinkle of pumpkin pie spice and then I'm going to add a tablespoon of maple syrup and split it between the two, his and mine. And then we're going to roast this at 350 for about 30 minutes until they're nice and tender. It is a refreshing change from the standard oatmeal breakfast and you can probably do this with like frozen and diced butternut. But like I said, I had this on hand. This was from my garden from the summer. This is my last one that I have because we've been eating them. They are so sweet and delicious and it is such a treat and something different for breakfast. So I'm making him an almond and apple cinnamon uh, mixture to put on top of this Ezekiel bread which is the raisin uh, breakfast bread and it's so yummy he loves that and then I'm just gonna fix my plate of course 50 50 I add a little drizzle of this fig balsamic it's a little sweet and it just is a perfect touch to this to finish it off and then I'm going to eat my lightly steamed cabbage and this is definitely a seasonal meal and it is so good I decided to do a festive and colorful pasta salad for lunch using my favorite snacking beans, Lupini Snacking Beans by Brahmi. If you go to www.brahmisnacks.com, you'll receive 20% off using the code PLANTBASEDSTORM at checkout. They were kind enough to give us a discount code after one of my subscribers wrote in asking if they would be willing to do that for you guys. So no affiliation. They're just really delicious and take advantage of that awesome discount code. So let's go ahead and get this pasta cooked up. I'm putting it into a steamer pot and I'm going to do two things at one time. I'm going to steam the artichoke. Um, I like to use the frozen artichoke because there's a whole lot less sodium in it this way and then the pasta is cooking at the bottom. And the really cool thing about doing this is once the artichoke is ready, I'll dump that out on the cutting board and get that ready to cut up. And then I will just strain the pasta right into the steamer pot and then I save my a step by not having to wash an extra dish and this is some little things that I love to do like that to make it simpler and easier to get things done quickly and as efficiently as possible so that's a good tip and hack hope that helps someone out there so in this I've got one small bell pepper a half a purple onion a teaspoon of garlic a quarter cup of fresh parsley and chives five Kalmata olives and a cucumber and then for the dressing I'm going to use about a half a cup of veggie stock and then the Hestia spice seasoning from local spicery it's super delicious it's just a Greek style seasoning and a good squeeze of lemon and a dash of black pepper so mix that all up and then we'll add that to the um, pasta salad after it's had a minute to set and then this is just the artichokes and i'm going to chop that up and add it right to it
I also added a good tablespoon of the Mrs. Dash garlic uh, seasoning. Uh, it is really delicious in here as well and just adds some extra flavor. Now you can eat this as is, but I like to add in a handful of fresh spinach just to dilute the calories a little bit more and it's such a fantastic lunch. So I like to add vinegar to some fresh water and this is how I clean my greens from the garden. I will take them and rip them from the stalks and just throw them into the sink and then I'm going to give them a really good wash in this water with the vinegar in it and then rinse them off. And then I will rinse off my turnips and then put them in the vinegar water as well. And from this point, it's just basically cooking everything. I like to take the greens and I will saute them down a little bit and let them wilt before I even add any liquid to my pot um, just so that I can get all of them in there. And then I will cover them with just enough liquid and then let that come to a boil and cook for about 30 minutes. Same thing with the turnips. I'm going to dice these up and then just cook them. Also going to add some corn and we're going to have some azuki beans. This makes such a fabulous seed seasonal meal with a lot of fall slash winter veggies and it really hits the spot. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks so much for watching.